Good afternoon. My name is Gita Newkirk. I am the city manager at the city of Highland Park. And thank you so much for joining us today for this very joyous and also bittersweet occasion as our esteemed fire chief, Larry Amade, is retiring in about 15 minutes. Uh, truly, this is a joyous occasion to celebrate his distinguished career and also to celebrate the promotion of Joe Schragi to fire chief and Frank Nardo Marino to deputy chief. I would like to recognize our elected officials that are here today. We have Mayor Nancy Rotering. We have council members Annette Litterwer, Tony Bloomberg, Kim Stone, and former elected official Alyssa Noble. We are so fortunate to have them as current and past elected officials because their service is truly outstanding. On a regular basis at our meetings, they are making decisions based on the best interest of the community, and for that we are grateful. Your leadership also adds to the great pride that we have as city representatives. I would like to recognize our department directors. Um, so if everyone could wave at, wave. Great, number of department directors that are here as well. Um, thank you for being here. And we have a great number of retirees. So good to see everybody. Um, so if all retirees could wave to the group. So Chief, well in preparation for what I was going to say today, I grabbed Larry's personnel file and I wanted to just take a look at the commendations he's received over the years, all the certifications, major projects that he's been involved in, and when I received a copy of it, I nearly broke my back trying to carry it. Um, so truly there is so much to review, um, but what I want to do now is just really just kind of highlight a couple of key positions that he has held over the years. They include CPR, first aid director, medical director, safety officer, accreditation manager, national fire department peer reviewer, chief of Mavis, and so much more. You seem to balance all of it so incredibly well. And over the course of the 33 year history of the city, he's also worked for four city managers and six fire chiefs. And for that, I think he should have a medal for that. <laughs> I have always appreciated how you've had this great respect for the tradition of fire service and yet also recognize the importance of innovation as we've kept our department and our city as at the forefront and really being the best in the nation, which of course it is. But despite all of this experience, your priority has been the firefighters. It's been the residents of Highland Park and Highwood that we now serve. It's been our entire community and of course your family. It's really about the people. Every emergency responder in this room knows firsthand what a challenging position that you're in. Although you experience the love and appreciation from the public for a job well done, there are times where those calls don't end in positive endings. Frank recently shared with me that every call to 911 is faced with a thought that someone may be having the worst day of their life. And with that in mind, our personnel respond to those calls with professionalism, swiftly, and with great dedication and care. And Larry, although you're not going on those calls any longer, at least most of them, because I know you still like to go on them, you certainly carry the weight of everyone's experiences on you. This profession doesn't have the luxury of checking out on a Friday night and not having to worry about anything over the weekend. As we all know, emergencies can happen any day of the week, any time of the day or night. And I'm in awe by how you carry the responsibilities of Fire Chief, and also you balance that in a calm, collected demeanor, with a kind heart and family approach, knowing that Highland Park is your second family. This is the legacy that I believe you leave here with us and that you've instilled in every person here. You have the most exceptional customer service skills that I think Disney and Neiman Marcus could also learn a lot from you. Mary, wait to the group. So Mary. I'm sure being married to someone in the fire service is not easy. Long hours, stressful calls, sleepless nights, interrupted communication, missed holidays, and your schedule not aligning with anyone else on the planet other than someone in fire service. Larry puts you on a pedestal, and as do we. We can't thank you enough for your support, not only for Larry, but your support that you've extended to everyone in the fire department and everyone at the city. 
It's greatly appreciated, and we know that you and your entire family are happy that you now have a built-in babysitter for all the grandkids, and he's able to get to all those home projects that, that we talked about a few minutes ago. So Larry, from the bottom of our heart and on behalf of the entire city, thank you for your distinguished service, your friendship, and leaving a legacy of kindness, family approach, and outstanding service that will live on for years to come. At this time, I would like to invite Mayor Rotering up. And then we have a couple of gifts for you. Thank you, Gita. Welcome, everybody. I'm so glad I didn't really prepare comments because who can follow that? Those were just amazing, special comments to you, and to you, Amade family, and to our entire fire group. Thank you for all that you do under Larry's leadership. And now as we move on into our next phase with Joe, thank you all for everything you bring every day. So on behalf of the City Council, I read a proclamation at our meeting on Monday night, and I wanted to share that with everybody today, uh, because some of you may not know all these fabulous facts about our Chief, Larry Amaday. Whereas Chief Amaday grew up in Highwood, where his father served as a volunteer firefighter, it is reported that young Larry would chase after the fire truck on his bicycle. And whereas Chief Amaday is a graduate of Highland Park High School and first worked in Highland Park doing summer beach patrol, I I think you look familiar. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, in 1984 and 1987, Chief Amaday formally began his career as a firefighter par paramedic for the City of Highland Park on April 4, 1988. And whereas during his employment, Chief Amaday has continued to participate in professional development training and educational activities, earning numerous state and FEMA certifications, as well as completing a bachelor's degree in occupational health and safety a master's degree in business and public administration, as well as staff and command school at the National Fire Academy. And whereas Chief Amaday worked his way up through the ranks from firefighter paramedic, adding responsibilities such as CPR first aid director, medical director, safety officer, accreditation manager, National Fire Department peer reviewer, and chief of the Mavis Division III joint venture investigation, te joint fire investigation team, and earned promotions within the department to Lieutenant, Battalion Chief, Deputy Chief, and his present role as Chief. And whereas under Chief Amaday's leadership, the Fire Department has completed preliminary design for the new Ravinia Neighborhood Firehouse. Further, Chief Amaday was actively involved in discussions that led to the approval of one of the first intergovernmental agreements in the state of Illinois for shared fire, EMS, and inspection services between the cities of Highland Park and Highwood, and whereas Chief Amaday is a professional with the highest level of character and integrity who is dedicated to the fire service and is respected by his colleagues, the city council, and the public. And whereas Chief Larry Amaday will retire today, August 27, 2021, Chief Amaday has earned and justly deserves this public recognition for his more than 33 years of distinguished service to our community, being responsible for ensuring the safety of life and the protection of property. Now, therefore, I, Nancy Rotering, Mayor of the City of Highland Park, Lake County, Illinois, and the City Council of Highland Park, do hereby congratulate Chief Larry Amaday on the occasion of his retirement and extend our appreciation to Chief Amaday for his leadership and service and our very best wishes for his continued success in his life's pursuits. Congratulations, Larry. I would be remiss if I didn't introduce our two other council members, Andres Tapia and Adam Stolberg. Definitely much has been said about Larry, and I'm not sure that I can add a whole lot more details on the overall, but what I can add is the personal touch that Larry has taught me. First of all, this is Larry's hometown and his family. There's no question, sometimes walking around town was more like walking into Cheers and everybody calling out Norm's name. But uh, 
there is no question in my mind the dedication that Larry has had to take care of his family, to continue to show that care and concern, to make sure that we provided the absolute best customer service. Any one of the firefighters here would tell you that that was his number one priority. So, Larry, this is a deserved recognition. You've put in your time 40 years in the fire service for Highwood and Highland Park. Um, and I must say that as much as I know you've cared for the people, and let us show this recognition to you that we do care for Larry Amaday as well. tradition in the fire service is the fire chief's last tone. your family's been preparing a little special secret for you so somebody else is wanting to say congratulations on your retirement so if you could step in front of the TV here I'll uh, pull it up We have is uh, Jennifer. Oh, it's coming up. It's always the challenge of trying to do a surprise and not let the chief see it before. But uh, Jennifer Dotson, would you like to present your poem? It's a tradition. Um, oops. Is that like come off? Oh, oh, this one. There you okay, go. Go. okay, is that better? Um, it's been a tradition uh, to write a short poem uh, to honor uh, the retiring uh, chiefs. So this is mine. Cheers to Chief Amaday. Many may flounder about with frustration in search of their desired vocation. It's very rare to know without question one's ideal future job or profession. Larry just knew what he wanted to do. His dad was a firefighter and he'd be one too. Whenever Highwood's fire engines drove by, he'd chase after and on his bike he would fly. Over 33 years in Highland Park, in a long career, Larry's made his mark. He's provided residents with comfort and aid for calm in a crisis, Larry's top grade. 
shaped the Highwood IGA and its great, the first fire, shared fire services in the state. Tis poetic that as our chief, he should also serve as chief to his old neighborhood. Ravinia's firehouse is much too small, firefighters and equipment squished wall to wall. Larry has paved the way for a future fine with a new Ravinia firehouse design. A devoted firefighter in every aspect, leading by example, has earned him respect. Larry's loyalty to family runs deep, connections to both home and his job are steep. Larry, it's true we will miss you a bunch. Call us to join you at Bufo's for lunch. <laughs> On this grand occasion, what more can I say? Enjoy your retirement, Chief Amaday. Chief Asta. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Nick Asta. I'm the Deputy Chief with the Barrington Carsack Fire Protection District. I'm also here representing the Illinois Fire Chiefs Association as an area representative for Lake County and for Chief Amaday. Uh, today I have to present to Chief Amaday um, a proclamation, uh, the retired Illinois Fire Chiefs Association challenge point. And then we also have a pin for distinguished service which is uh, presented to those chiefs that were members of the Illinois Fire Chiefs Association in good standing for at least 10 years. So congratulations on that. I'll read the proclamation. The Illinois Fire Chiefs Association congratulates Chief Larry Amaday, who is retiring from the Highland Park Fire Department after more than 40 years of dedicated service to the Illinois Fire Service, its citizens, and neighboring communities. We are pleased to bestow this recognition to and praise his dedication and passion to the Illinois Fire Chiefs Association, the fire service, and the people that he has served. Um, I'm fairly new to this position as an area representative. I've only done a couple of these um, walkout ceremonies. I'd like to add a little personal touch. Um, in the short time that I've been involved with the Illinois Fire Chiefs Association, and as an administrative chief, I didn't get to know Larry very well. Um, I do attend the uh, Lake County Fire Chiefs Association meetings, and uh, Larry's been uh, a member there for a very long time. Um, he did get to come out on a couple that I've been on. And as a leader, we have to bestow some of our qualities onto the people that we serve. Uh, something like um, empowerment, leadership. Uh, something for you, Larry, leaving the service, not knowing me very well. You did leave something for me. When you emailed me and asked if I would be here, you left me with encouragement. It made me feel good to know that um, I was doing a fairly good job as a new member of this association in a new role. And I thank you for that. I wish you the best on your retirement. I wish you a safe, healthy retirement, and I'm very jealous of you right now. <laughs> the respect for Larry goes near and deep to all of us, so President Marusic is from uh, IFF Local 822 our Firefighters Association, Island Park. All right, thank you everyone for attending. It's a wonderful day to recognize so many great accomplishments. Uh, all right, I'll start over. Thank you everyone for attending. It's a wonderful day to recognize so many great accomplishments. Today is, meant, today is meant to celebrate Chief Amaday's accomplishments, but there's something much greater at hand to discuss. It's his character. I have had the pleasure of working jointly with Chief Amaday over the years as union president. For most departments, having a union president speak at a chief's retirement just wouldn't happen. 
In fact, the two are far too often in adversarial relationship. They continues for multiple administrations. Chief Amaday has always, throughout his career, done something different, though. He treated people with respect. He always believed in taking care of not only the group, but also the individual. I've witnessed more times than I can count Chief Amaday work with not only the union, but also individuals to help them in times of need. It is his love for the members of the department and the job that sets him apart from the rest. Recently, I took a class at WIU Western Illinois titled Fire Service Ethics. The course reviewed assorted ethical topics, but I wanted to take an excerpt from one of the research papers I had written. It speaks about ethical responsibilities of fire department administrations. So here it is. Me personally, I think it takes an extremely confident, compassionate, and morally sound individual to lead a department. The administrator is truly pulled in multiple directions with every subgroup wanting the administration to do their bidding. Respect amongst all groups will assist the administration, supervisory authority, and the labor in upholding the best service delivery for our, all parties involved. The administrator will certainly be able to uphold their responsibility to all parties if they maintain transparency, respect, and a collaborative mindset. Chief, you got it right. Always being open, honest, and forthright in discussions, never once did I have to think about his intent or his motives. He was and is always trying to do the best for the firefighters and the Highland Park Fire Department. There's so much, and I mean so much, to be learned in the way that Chief Amaday has conducted himself. Being a leader is never an easy job, you are often placed under a microscope and your decisions as well as your judgments are critiqued. I've witnessed Chief Amaday always base his decision on sound ethics and virtues. You, Chief, have taught me that it is virtually impossible to make everyone happy and that as a leader, it is more important to do what's right. Following your heart on what will serve as the best outcome for the greatest good is what it's all about. This past year and a half have been exceptionally difficult on all of us first responders. But when the pandemic has tightened its grip on us at a personal level, it becomes even more difficult. Chief, your entire family is and should be proud of you. You have shined in times of darkness and have selflessly given of yourself when many others have, would, would have turned inward. I personally would like to say thank you for co your commitment to us as a group when the entire world seemed to be going insane from COVID to riots, you stood by us and our needs. Your sincere and honest leadership helped every one of us through those times. I only wish that every member of the local here and on the entire fire department would have been able to have the conversations that you and I did daily so that they might also bear witness to what leadership should look like. Your compassion for everyone on this department is incredibly contagious and I truly believe that you will continue with our future administration as well. You have mentored many exceptional leaders thus far. I am honored to have worked alongside you throughout my entire career and have the utmost respect for you. With an excellent relationship, we have accomplished great things with this department and your legacy will continue for generations to come. You are leaving this department better than it was and better than when you started and that is one of the greatest accomplishments for any firefighter or administrator. I truly value our friendship and will always be grateful for the lessons that you have taught me. Chief Amade, you are the embodiment of what a chief should be, and I personally would like to say thank you for your time, dedication, and commitment to all of us. Congrats on your retirement, and may God bless you and all of your family and future endeavors. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Assistant Chief Tom Burke. I'm with the uh, Northville Fire Department, also President of Mavis Division 3. Larry, on behalf of all the Chiefs, the members, everybody at Mavis Division 3, we'd like to thank you for your dedication, your service, your help. Uh, you're always there. You always 
raised your hand right away when we were looking for help for committees, and we appreciate that. On a personal note, I'd like to thank you for the phone calls we've had every once, twice a week. I appreciated throwing things back and forth at you. I, I know we, we talked about things, we laid things out, and it was a great help to me personally, and I'd like to thank you for that. So on behalf of all of us, I'd like to give you this statue and say thank you very much. Another tradition that we do here in Highland Park for all our retirees is we retired the flag that flew above this station for Larry as a keepsake for his entire retirement and enjoyment of his family to hang on his wall at home. Now we'll try the TV. What can I say after Cheryl Scott? Oh my God. My wife even thinks she's beautiful. So. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I want to thank everybody. Um, it's been a great week this week, uh, hearing from people I haven't heard from in a while. Uh, one group I want to mention, though, I really appreciate that's here is uh, the Chiefs from Lake County, Cook County, uh, it's great to see you all. Thanks for coming out. I think I saw Del Urban somewhere out there too, right? There she is, okay. Del Urban, one of the first female fire chiefs in the state. She just retired a little while ago. Good friend of mine, she, um, at her walkout, I think she had just about every state senator, and it was unbelievable, the walkout she had up in North Chicago, so it was great. Um, you know, 40 years in Highwood Highland Park, I couldn't ask for anything better, you know, being in my hometowns. Um, it's funny, uh, when I was younger on the job here in Highland Park, Dave Pasquazi and I used to have competition. You know, we'd go to calls and to the grocery store, and. Um, We'd find out, Dave kind of knew Highland Park more because Dave, Dave lived in Highland Park. I lived in Highwood, so I knew the Highwood crowd more. But it, so we had this competition going all the time about how many people would come up to us. So it was quite funny. But uh, I want to thank the mayor, uh, uh, Gita, city manager, uh, for giving me the chance to be chief. And uh, also I want to thank the department heads uh, in the city. They've been great to work with. 
I see Julie Logan here. Uh, Ramesh, uh, I think, is, uh, had another thing, but he, he took me out yesterday. Who else do we have here? Lou, where's Lou at? Lou, great to work with you. We both made chief about the same time. Great relationship. Um, and I'm sorry, if I forget anybody, it's, it's, it's hard to, to hit it all, but uh, I appreciate everybody that's here today. Um, my battalion chiefs and my great deputy Joe, who's gonna be sworn in in a few minutes, just a wonder to work with. You know, we, we have meetings and uh, we figure things out logically, and uh, it's just been a great, great last couple of years. Um, also, the uh, firefighters and paramedics, they're the faces of the fire department. So all these, everybody you see here from the department, you know, they're the ones going on the calls. They're the ones that I get letters about. I mean, you know, I see some people at meetings, but, but they're out there every day doing it. And in this COVID situation we've had the last couple of years, you know, it hasn't been easy. Um, so I'd like to have a hand for the firefighters and paramedics. I said it at the council meeting the other night. You know, when I took over, I asked, just give good customer service, be kind when you're out there with the public. And I'll tell you, I, you know, I don't think I've, I, I was saying in the last year, I don't, I don't think I've had one complaint, which is amazing. Usually you get some here and there, you know, so, so they must be doing something right and I, I really appreciate it. And I know they'll do the same for Joe. Um, what else did I want to say? Police and Fire Commission. I know I think, I think at least two of the three members are here that I saw. Uh, great Police and Fire Commission. Can you stand up, please? Jody and Steve, and I don't know if Mr. Rockman could make it. But I've worked with them for six and a half years. They've done a great job. Always supportive of a lot of the decisions we make. And uh, we've, we've made a lot of good ones. Um, retirees, you know, great mentors to me over the years. I want to thank everybody. There's quite a few of you here today. And uh, we've had a lot of good times. And uh, the department's uh, come a long way. I plan on starting a retiree lunch club in the next couple months. So I already downloaded to my new computer all the retirees' email addresses. So. We'll get that going. And it's not just gonna be fun and uh, having some spirits. It's, uh, it's gonna be educational. So we're gonna bring the new chief in to talk to us, uh, the head of the pension board. It's gonna be a little bit educational too. So. <laughs> uh, no business. Uh, so uh, with that, I also, uh, I have a lot of family here, so I can't, I, I can't say everybody's name, but uh, uh, my two brothers are here, nieces, my three daughters, uh, but the one person I, I, I definitely, because I know we have to get moving here, it's hot, um, the one I want to recognize is my wife. She's been so supportive of my career over the years. All of the firefighters here know when you're going for promotions and that, you need a lot of time to study the books. Um, she would keep the three kids out of my hair. I could lock myself in the bedroom. And uh, she's just always been supportive. So I got a little gift for you, honey. I was thinking earlier, it's a dozen roses, and we've been married 36 years, so it's one for every three years. <laughs> so anyways, uh, is my one grand, I know two of my grandchildren aren't here, is the, one, 
Oh, he's in my office. Okay. I have a three-week-old grandson, Lorenzo, that's in my office. So, yeah. So, anyways. Um, but anyways, I look forward to stopping by next spring to watch the building of the new fire station in Ravinia. And I want to thank, say thanks again to everybody involved for the privilege of being your chief. Thank you. to transition to the promotion for our new chief that's going to serve the city of Highland Park and the city of Highwood. So Joe Schrage has prepared himself for the 24 years that he has been in fire service for this position that he's about to take his oath of office for. He began in the fire service career in various part-time roles representing three different fire departments before joining the city in 2003 as a firefighter paramedic. He's been involved, and I'm sure everyone here can attest, to really every facet of fire service operations and also administration, wanting to get involved in the budget and budget development. And I will tell you, not many people ask for that, but he did. Um, we are so appreciative of his drive and his motivation and his dedication, and we are confident that he's gonna continue to lead not only this department, but the city with great integrity, passion, and dedication. Okay, before Dita gives Joe the oath of office, I just wanted to say a few words about Joe, too, department-wise. Um, so Joe's been in the fire service 24 years, 18 years on Highland Park. Uh, he performs everything with integrity and passion. Uh, he's been a member of the Division Hazmat team for many years, was a director of public education for the department, juvenile fire setters program. Uh, he took over the accreditation manager after I got out of it several years ago, and he also is our Citizens Fire Academy uh, director, or he served in our first couple that we had, and uh, many of the council and fire commissioners and everybody were in his class, and uh, he got it off to a great start. We're, we're looking at getting that going again. Um, Joe also served as local 822 union president for many years. Also served as uh, Warrenville Fire Protection District trustee. And he, uh, I think this is the biggest one out of them all. He served for several years at burn camp as a counselor uh, for IFSI. And uh, to me, that's, that's a tough one. You're, for anybody that's not familiar with it, you're dealing with severely burned children. And he'd stay up there for a week every summer. Uh, pretty taxing, only special people could do that that job. Um, so anyways, uh, also, so Joe served as firefighter medic, lieutenant, battalion chief, currently as my deputy chief, which he's done a great job at. Um, we've had him perform everything he could so that, that he'd be ready for today. And Joe's actually a better speaker and a better writer than I am. So he's going to do a lot better than me at this job. So, <laughs> But I truly mean that. He's going to be great for Highland Park. He's got a passion, and he'll probably be here a long time. So, uh, without further ado, we will have E to give the oath of office.
Okay, Joe, who would you like to pin your badge on? Uh, I'm going to invite Barb and the boys up. All right. forget the flowers. Anybody who steps through the positions of the fire service or even is a part of the fire service knows how important their family is and Barb has always been there for me and is one of the most understanding people that I know. Um, it takes probably as much dedication for this job from her as it has from me. And I appreciate the support and everything she's done. Uh, my family, my boys, definitely, uh, when dad can't show up to their games or maybe I can't pick them up from school or other times, they've definitely taken their tolls as well. And uh, they've been fantastic, supported this organization. In fact, I think they've chatted about following those footsteps. My uh, family, uh, my dad and mom couldn't be here due to some health concerns, but uh, definitely I know their heart and their soul is here today uh, celebrating with us. My brother was able to make the trip, Rick, and uh, appreciate that. I've got a cousin and their son, Cindy and Jeremy here. Um, I've got several friends here and fam other family. I truly am grateful for their support but I also want to recognize my other family, and that's all of you. From the city council, the mayor, the city manager, and that this is as much a part of my life as my family. They, the guys that serve, definitely have taught me as much as I could ever know about this job. We do what we do today because of the retirees of those guys who have led this organization prior. We do what we do today because of the practice of caring for the citizens. We do what we do today because we are passionate about our jobs. I couldn't be prouder of the team that is assembled here, and I am truly grateful to you for choosing me to help lead this team. Again, thank you. All right, Deputy Chief Nardim, or Battalion Chief Nardim Reno, could you please come forward? Frank and I came on the job um, just a few years apart. Frank was here a few years before me um, and served in Highwood a few years before that. Uh, Frank and I have paralleled our careers in many ways. Education-wise, as far as our desire and our passion to do the work, our desire and passion to serve the public, and our goal of making this department a better place every day. Frank, a few things he did was he spent uh, five years as a lieutenant here, three years as a battalion chief. For the present 15 years up to now, he's continued to serve as the medical director for the department, which is extremely difficult, and handling the public and QIing calls, making sure that everybody's doing their job right. It's very challenged, keeping us 
all certified in our medic. He served on the dive team for over 17 years, served as GIS mapping coordinator for 14 years, CPR instructor for 10 years. He's the department designated infection control officer and active shooter task, a rescue task force instructor. It's obvious to me, and it should be obvious, that Frank truly is committed to this. He carries things through, continues his devotion and dedication and drive for things for many years not letting up. With his desire and passion, I look forward to Frank serving as my deputy chief. He will be dependable, and I have full confidence in his abilities, and I fully trust him to expedite the duties of Deputy Chief. Frank, please step forward for the oath of office. Frank, who would you like to do the pinning? That would be my wife. Mary Ellen? I've heard that uh, brevity is a good trait, so I will be brief. I know it's hot here. Um, I want to start off by saying, first, thank you to Gita. I want to thank you for this opportunity and this trust. I will not let you down. I want to say thank you to Chief Amade for the years of friendship, for the years of advice, for trusting me those many years back to take over medical officer from you. Um, I appreciate your guidance, and I wish you nothing but the best for your future. Um, I want to thank Joe for his trust, believing in me, for keeping me at my best during every promotional process. Um, I look forward to the great things we're going to do together over the coming years. Um, I want to thank the guys that I worked with. Thank you for, A, making my last shift interesting. Um, it was fun. I will miss being 24-7, but I look forward to what we're going to do together over the coming years. To the retirees. There are so many here that uh, I would not be who I am today without every single one of you. For the wisdom, for the advice, for the humility, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We, uh, we will go down the, pay the road that you paid for us. So I thank you to every single one of you. Um, Mayor and Council, everyone else here, I appreciate the well, wish the well wishes. Uh, it means the world to me. I look forward to this next challenge of my life. Um, Last but not least is my family, and I apologize if I get emotional. Um, my kids could not be here. My son is uh, finishing his last year at MIT, and I will continue to brag as much as I can on that. So he will not be able to be here today, obviously. 
My two other kids are in school and they're just as uh, much of a perfectionist and they can't risk their 4.9 GPAs. So um, I know they wish me well and we'll talk tonight. Um, last but not least is uh, the most important person in the world. My wife of 24 years, who has been the most caring and tolerant person I've ever met, and I do mean tolerant. She has been the most supportive person no matter what crazy endeavor I've taken on, and I look forward to being home every night with you. Thank you. All right, that concludes the program. We had one guest here, and I asked him to show up, uh, and I, I'm glad he made it. Uh, I want to buy him a drink later. Uh, Jason Kern, he uh, just was named APCO's international president. So that represents 36,000 dispatchers nationally and internationally, right, Jason? So uh, he's been a good friend over the years and uh, pretty big, uh, big thing you got there, so representing 36,000 people. So dispatchers are just as big a important part of the whole pre-hospital and uh, fire care that uh, we have. So we, we always appreciate dispatch. Thanks a lot, and uh, one last thing, anybody that would uh, like to join us for an after party, we'll be starting at uh, Toadstool Pub, and uh, as soon as uh, we say some goodbyes. Thank you. Please, uh, please stop by.